week four. And this is Esper's refit in PSS Satun in Thailand. And we have done four weeks, so we've almost done a month. And uh, it's a bit of a circus. We've even got the big top out. Look, we're under the tent. It took the lads two days to erect this, but uh, now it means that we can keep the temperature down and the carpenters can concentrate on removing this. Okay, let's just have a quick look at the teak deck. This is what's been going on this week. So as you can see, the uh, carpenters have been taking up uh, the teak deck. So they've been removing this. Um, what remains, of course, is the remainder of the deck. The screws, uh, of which there are thousands, which screw right through. Now, this has, of course, caused us problems. Uh, around this area here, we've had some big leaks. We're going through the chain plate. And so, uh, you can see, great big chunks of this stuff is literally just peeling off. Uh, we didn't put a chisel under this one. That is literally just coming away. So the idea is we're going to grind all this down, um, take this right back, and then we're going to relay the fiberglass before we start actually fairing it. A couple of issues though. We can see here, once we've removed the deck, uh, we've got quite a sharp point here. So what we'd like to do is maybe fill this in. And if you come over to the edge here, if you dare Liz, you can see here we've got a step um, so what we're looking to do is to maybe fill this in. Um, we're going to have a tow rail which isn't going to run all the way down. The tow rail is going to be broken up into sections. So just a few cosmetic issues that we've uh, yet to, uh, to sort out. Okay, um, painters have been uh, painting away, fairing the hull. They've been using long boards, which are these things here. And it was a bit disconcerting because they start by getting black aerosol spray paint and they spray down the hull and they get the old boards out and they just sand like this and the idea is, is that uh, any imperfections in the gel coat which they're gradually taking off uh, will be shown up by the black spray paint so anyway the hull looks pretty good the uh, top sides look uh, pretty good after they've been uh, fared so next week they'll be moving on to this right let's go down below down below chart table. Very exciting. But before we talk about the chart table, as we said the other week, we've actually filled in one of our side port lights. As I explained before, this is something that we never opened. We didn't even open the curtains, so this is going to free up a whole load of space. This was a waste of space here. So the panel, the control panel is going to be built in here with a cupboard, so that frees up all this space here. This is the exciting bit, chart table. It's now starting to take shape. So they've sliced it off here. If you remember, it came right out here before and opened up that way. The idea now is that the chart table is going to open up this way. And look, I've got a seat. It's very exciting. So they're going to bring the chart table right out. It would stop there before. The control panel, the uh, um, one to all selector switch and the domestic an engine uh, isolation switches we're going to bring forward. This is going to be a little area here. And as an added little extra bit of luxury, we're going to have some under lighting here just to give it a bit of uh, atmosphere. Forward heads. This I think we're going to have to rename from this moment on as Liz's study. So uh, I think I should probably hand you over to Liz in a moment to talk a bit more about this, but uh, if you just come through, if you come round and look in from the forepeak, if you remember before, we had the, uh, the heads were here, the toilet was down here, had the uh, shelving system here and a small sink. We had a dividing wall here with the door, and this was the shower, and the water maker was down here. What we're now going to be doing is moving the water maker around. So we're actually taking out a seacock, which we're going to move over to this end. And we're building in a box here uh, to put the water maker in. And we can uh, actually lay the water maker out uh, a bit more tidily. I was uh, 
criticised for being a bit higgledy-piggledy with my water maker installation, which I was uh, mightily offended by, but I think there was a little bit of truth in that. It was a bit uh, chaotic, so this will at least allow us to have a bit more room to uh, put the water maker in. Hello. We went shopping this week. It was great. A whole day shopping in Hattiai, which is the largest city um, south in South Thailand. One of the things we did was to look at coverings for the floor, for the ceiling, for the walls. The galley. Sadly, I don't have anything to actually show you, so use your imaginations. Here's the galley. Everything's been taken back here. We're losing as much wooden trim as we can. As you can see, it's already come off here, and we're going to be taking this off as well. Um, we'll, we'll revert to sliding cabinets here, and we'll keep these deep shelves here. But the difference is that they're going to be covered in formica, which might sound a bit boring to some of you, but it's not any old formica, it's burnished, brushed aluminium effect. So it's kind of stainless steel effect will be all the way along here. We'll probably keep this wood, not 100% sure. Along the bottom, again, you can see all the trim has come off, so it's going to be lovely and flat. And we're trying to get the appearance of stainless steel all the way along here as well. Um, on the top here, we're going to have Corel, uh, so it has a kind of granite effect here in a, in a creamy, whitey, uh, flecked colour. And at the end here, Jamie and I went a bit bonkers and chose a kind of tomato red, bright, bright uh, formica, tomato red, in a gloss. So we're hoping that um, this will just bring a bit of light and a bit of fun to this area. A bit like your glasses. Yeah, what do you mean? They're quite normal. <laughs> and they're Ray-Bans. <laughs> right. I have actually got some things to show you in here. So last week we talked about and we showed you some of the uh, ideas we had on our mood board. So we were going for a horizontal stripe, we are going for a more um, greyed off effect rather than the um, revolting yellowy orange kind of varnish that um, you see in so many yachts. Um, we had a couple of samples, we got them to send us bigger samples and I've got the actual sample that we've chosen. Is it this is what we used to have that's the veneer that's come off originally it was light ash and over 24 years it's gone this color that's what happens when you put a, a varnish on which makes everything slightly yellow what we're going for now is quite a different uh, look from the current uh, setup on Esther we're going for this this is called white vine um, you can see the horizontal stripes will be will be quite uh, visible, much lighter, slightly greyer than before, not quite as grey as I wanted, but nevertheless a lovely light colour. And instead of varnishing, we're going to use a polyurethane satin finish, which we hope will keep it, this, this great colour. So the whole thing will be this colour. Across here, again, these will all be sanded off and taken back and the veneer will go right up to there. That's the veneer. So Jamie, is there anything else you want to talk about today? Mm, there are a couple of jobs which we haven't even begun to look at. Um, one is the uh, four cell furling mechanism, which we really must uh, take apart and have a look at. We've got a slight leak in the diesel tanks, which at the moment we can't do anything about because our cabin has been used as a storage area, but uh, we'll uh, empty the tanks and have a look at that. And then of course we've got the electronics, which we have to configure and plan and then order before the electrician starts uh, doing his magic uh, project that uh, we're going to work on together. So those, those are my concerns at the moment. Everything else has been going swimmingly. Uh, once again, Urn has been fantastic at uh, getting people to move along quickly and efficiently. The guys have been brilliant. They've been fantastic. This week we had a little pep talk. There was a little T 
team building thing if you will and uh, we've encouraged them to take regular breaks and we've told them that every Saturday they can finish half an hour early and anyone that wants to will get a few beers in so just try and keep the morale up because uh, these guys have been working so hard and we just want to show them some way of um, acknowledging our appreciation for what good solid workers they've been so yeah it's been another fantastic week and as a conclusion to the end of the first month couldn't be happier <laughs> Ja, dat wordt